Hello, my name is Dr Annette Taylor, I'm a lecturer in physical chemistry here at the University of Leeds and I'm going to be addressing the question, describe the mechanisms of SN1 and SN2 reactions using tertiary butyl chloride and N-butyl chloride respectively. So an overall chemical reaction can take place via a series of steps. The kinetics of the reaction, the rates of changes of the chemical species involved, can give us an indication of how the process takes place on a molecular scale, i.e. the reaction mechanism. A classic example of this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction, which was in, in, uh, investigated by Professor Ingold. So he was a professor of organic chemistry here at the university between 1924 and 1930. A nucleophilic substitution involves exchange of a nucleophile with a free pair of electrons and a leaving group X attached to this alkyl group R. So a nice example of this is the reaction of N-butyl chloride with hydroxide ions. So we can add this species to a solution of hydroxide ions and the exchange will take place, giving rise to the alcohol product, 1-butanol. The rate of this reaction depends on the concentration of the hydroxide ions as well as the concentration of the N-butyl chloride. And we also have the rate constant in their K. What this implies about how the reaction takes place is that it involves a collision between hydroxide ions and uh, N-butyl chloride. So a direct attack of the OH on this carbon and simultaneous leaving of the chloride, taking its electrons with it. Since this reaction involves the direct collision between these two species, we say it's a bimolecular process. And so it's a nucleophilic substitution involving two species. If we were to uh, sketch an energy profile for this reaction, we would see that the energy increases as we form a transition state, a high energy transition state, with the OH partially bonded and the chloride partially bonded, and then decreases to the final product state. 